Hey guys, it's William Schufeld, AKA Brody the Red Ranger. And I wanna say it is morphin' time. You guys are watching it here at Action Activate. for Action Activate, operating one hour later than normal, but on the same great day, which is a Monday. I, of course, am Gazbot, and with me, as always, is this man... The Big Dog Defender! Yes, that's right, the Big Dog Defender, here, defending all things that are Ravi to everyone else in the world. All now, the things. We are starting a little bit late. Sorry about that. That is my fault. My mother is in from out of town. She lives across the country, so I gave her a little bit, an hour of my time. I thought that was only right. So this time it wasn't Evox and it wasn't the big dog. It was Mama Gazbot. But that's fine because she's great and so are you all. Now, why are we here today? Big dog, tell them. We are here to finally catch up. We have two episodes to cover today. What are their numbers? That's a great question. We <laughs> keep seeing conflicting information, yes. but it's the one about the celebrity and it's the one about the mind control. That's and agreed. <laughs> we're going to jump into it. Let's not waste any time, Gaz. Let's all right, let me. Off. I'm going to pull up the uh, the uh, what do you call it slideshow. So uh, let's waste a little time, like like 50 seconds. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, all right, done. <laughs> for, actually, uh, where did it go? There was one thing I found this weekend that I wanted to show on the stream. Okay. I'm trying to remember what it is, and I'm trying to remember where well, it is next. Meanwhile, okay. I will say hello to the real Babu, who is uh, – he says, always accept when you do a live panel. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's always your fault, except for that one time. Yeah, except for that one time. Um, what are you looking for, Big Dog? I don't even know. Okay, I well, found stop. something over the weekend. Oh, that's what it was. All right, let's give him a, let's give him a two shot. Okay, there's his elbow. There's his so, side. All right, we see weekend, part of his back coming one in. One thing that's been – one thing that's been constant for most of my life is I am not the cleanest person. What? Not like I don't bathe, but like I'm messy. Yeah. My room's not always where it needs to be. My your room things moves? aren't always where they have to be. Where is it? Do is what? it in the back? You said your room's not always where it needs to be. Is it in the backyard? Is it down the street? Where where do you find it? Anywho. <laughs> so as a kid, <clears throat> to help motivate me and my sister to clean, my parents would get a little boom box and put a CD in or something to kind of get us hyped up. Sure. And I found said CD whilst cleaning once again. Oh, so it was always the same CD. It was, it was like a handful of CDs, but this one made it into the rotation pretty often. You okay. guys will probably understand why I'm imagining I apologize. It has something to do with... Go ahead. I apologize if there's glare, but right here we have my guess, yeah. the mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie soundtrack. And let me tell you, tell me. holds up. Is Great. there isn't there a Red Hot Chili Peppers song on that soundtrack? Yep, Higher Ground. Yes. It's the second track, and it is what they use when they are rollerblading. Oh, I thought it was skydiving. Um, oh, is that I'm a different move? Sure. No, it's the same. They skydive at first. Yeah. Then after they land, they rollerblade around, and so, then they get called to teleport somewhere. But so the one where they're flying through the air isn't Higher Ground. I don't believe that's, that's weird, song, but I could happily be wrong. I could be wrong too. It just uh, thematically, I thought that made sense, but yeah, right. I think it's because they can. Yeah, it's one of those. But <laughs> it's a good song. Well, I'm um, glad you found that. I hope it still plays. But that is not what we're here to discuss right now. We aren't. What are we here to discuss, guys? We're here to discuss Ranger Reveal. This is yeah. Uh, we start. We don't. What is it? What is revealing? What is a ranger? Let's find out. Uh, this is Beast Morphers, depending on who you ask. Episode seventeen or eighteen, uh, and it starts off with there is some celebrity, and as always, whatever celebrity shows up in a ranger town, the entire town is a fan of. Every ranger is a fan of. So they're all here Everybody to see. Everybody loves this person. They all, and the person is Nikki Rev. Was the, the the fictional name? I wrote that down yep. in case it's a reference to something which I wasn't getting, but I, I didn't know what it was. I will say right off the bat here. I think there was a missed opportunity. Do you know what it is? Um, 
Maybe because as much as you love Ninja Steel, you haven't watched as much of it as I have. But Fair. a big part of Ninja Steel is oh. the Six Ranger Levi is a famous country western singer. And he's always yep. going to events and things like that. And he has trouble – there's an episode where he has trouble balancing his life as a Power Ranger superhero with his celebrity life. It's, I do remember that episode. And there you go. So it seems to me he, it would have been a great opportunity to tie in an actor from the last season. And it would make sense because he would have the perfect – you know, spoilers, this is all about fame and secret identities and stuff so if he mm-hmm. was the celebrity I, that would have been awesome that would have been like unfairly maybe that makes me like this episode i like this episode overall but it made me like it less because i'm like why wasn't it levi i'm going to defend why they didn't do this okay because they wouldn't fly him back to new zealand probably unless he was from there in which case my argument is invalid they've flown people back before dimensions in danger and we know there's okay. gonna be other people are you back. really Gonna try to compare this episode no, no, no. to the best episode of last season <laughs> that was a crossover with multiple rangers. No, no, uh, but it's also Hasbro. They're spending a little more money. We know they're flying rangers out next season for sure. We know uh, that you know in the Super Mega Force season they flew rangers out, for example, on yeah. individual episodes. So it's not unheard of. If not Levi, he would be the best one. Uh, if not him, maybe Antonio or any other you know musician ranger that could come out. I have out. a second reason. Okay. All of those have one thing in common. Gold Rangers. They're all Nickelodeon seasons, and they want to get as far away from the Nickelodeon stuff as they can. You're wrong. Except for Dino Charge. I was going to say, what? I caught, <laughs> I caught it. It's different, though. It's it sent by footage. Uh, well, it's not been confirmed, but it's heavily suspected that the American actors will be showing up. Yeah. I mean, that's not also, conf- Yeah. Yeah, that, that was the only season during the – Nickelodeon Neo Saban era that people for the most part like more than dislike. I know that's a hot take because sure. you are a fan of Samurai. Samurai. Yeah. But um yeah, so that's why I think for a plethora of reasons. Okay, but, well the main you basically said they didn't bring him in because of money or perception of the fan base or whatever like that. But but that doesn't discount what I'm saying from a story point of view, from a continuity of the world point of view, from a just making it better it still would have been a better episode you're saying they wouldn't do it because of money and other reasons but that doesn't mean it wouldn't have been better i can't believe we're on the first friggin slide (laughs) no i know i was trying to think if if it's the same universe because they brought up rita repulsa in this season yeah i think last season they had tommy yeah yeah. i think all of the ranger uh seasons generally are in the same universe except for ones where they make a point where they're not like like well dino charge dino charge um, RPM, RPM, SPD, which could be, I know it's like kind of in the future, so maybe that's in the future. Uh, and then, you know, there's a few that like make a point of saying they're not, but as we've seen crossovers are totally possible for a million reasons. Um, but again, there's more like Levi makes the most sense to me. Antonio, I like better cause I, I like him as a character better, but there are other musicians. There's, um, uh, the yellow Ranger from Dino Thunder, like plenty of musicians that could come. Levi is the main one I thought of because they made a point of addressing this in his season. So it'd be a fun way to like a senior Ranger to not only come back, but be like, Hey, I got a life lesson for you that I learned as my time as a Ranger. And again, it didn't kill this episode for me, but my first thought was, Oh man, I hope it's going to be Levi. And then it was, and I was like, ah, oh well, <laughs> I didn't think that, but Moving on to slide two. Okay, slide two. So <laughs> Zoe is there because this is Channel 10 News where they're going to do an interview with the actress. It's not, uh, it's not an event where she's acting or something like that. And her mom, the reporter who we haven't seen in a while, is the one that gets to do the interview. And Zoe's like, I'm so happy for you. What a big opportunity. Blah, blah, blah. I love you. You're my mother. Everybody's happy. They have a much better relationship than uh, Devin and his father or uh, Ravi and his mother. So while that's going on, though. Here comes Ben and Betty with the part that uh, Big Dog's going to love the most. They're like, boy, we're also big fans of uh, Nikki. And they bought this selfie stick, which is unnecessarily complicated and super deluxe. Ben even says, hey, didn't this get bad reviews? Isn't this a good, not a good selfie stick? Oh, boy. Big Dog, c- calm down. I know you're so excited to laugh. but they, I forgot about this until right now. They use That's it. That's how much I've actively <laughs> – been blocking it the last two weeks well they use it it extends way too far it's malfunctioning and it gets stuck on this cage on a truck and of course when they try to reel it in instead of it breaking or knocking over the cage it somehow lifts up and pulls in betty and ben in a very super cartoony unrealistic physics way which i know is just your favorite mine too uh and of course the rangers you said one of two reactions are (gasps) And Ben and Betty then end up their comic hijinks in this truck full of some kind of indis- 
spectrum indistinct garbage and then yeah. drive away and think they've missed the whole thing not good not not good <laughs> awful uh real quick uh the real baboo says imdb lists this episode that we're talking about as 17 because hypnotic is listed as 20 hypnotic halloween is 21 so the halloween episode messes everything up so yeah i, I saw it as 17 some it's, it's been listed as 18 the episode is the, t- the title is ranger reveal whatever the number that's is. so weird that that episode only references like 12 13 and 14 and yet it was one of the best episodes of the second half of the season. Well, like, there's so many things from the last four weeks, including this week, yeah. that we could talk about, uh, like, in the episode if they were going to bring up highlights, lowlights, whatever. I, I, and it's so weird. I'm, I am I wonder, like, though, if the fact that they only did those episodes made them have less footage to, like, do as a clip show, which made it better and made it one of the best clip shows we've ever seen. So I'm not complaining. I don't know why they're like, hey, Ravi, remember when you uh, Had two you things. helped that kid? As opposed to, hey, Devin, remember when you almost murdered Ravi? <laughs> <laughs> well, again, because maybe they could only use the episodes that were filmed up to that point or whatever. Whatever the behind-the-scenes reason, I like it because, again, it made a clip show an episode I really liked, which is No, nuts. it was good. I'm just yeah. perplexed. Perplex is a good word. So they get word that unfortunately Nikki Rev can't make it. So everyone's disappointed. Yeah. They start leaving. Uh, Zoe's mom is like, oh, man, what a missed opportunity. But but then, uh, oh, I, I guess I missed it. There is a, a, a villain appears, and the cameraman uh, drops his camera, and everyone stops, starts running. And who is the villain but uh, Quarrel Qualamex? What the heck is his name? Quargoyle? Qu- Vargoyle? Vargoyle! Quaggle a yeah, Vargoyle, which I still would like a figure of. But again, I keep going Dang. back to I want a lightning collection. I want a regular one, but I almost They're don't. They're not going to make a lightning collection. I will settle for a regular. Agreed. But I want a lightning collection. They're not going to do it. <sighs> they might if it goes long enough, as you say. No, they'll make everything. When, no, they get they into, when they get into year 10, you don't think they're going to hit Vargoyle? No. You're... I don't think they're going to be done with the Rangers in year 10. No, but they'll mix it up. Again, going back to Marvel Legends, they haven't put out every single X-Man, but they've put out some obscure villains and other, like, Hydra agents and things. Once they give up every single Ranger and every form of Ranger, they're done. So they have to mix it up with civilians and villains and stuff. At some point when we have an off week, we are going to number crunch yeah. how many okay. Rangers and other characters there are for possible. Well, I think there's only three or four more episodes this season, so we're going to have a lot of off-seasons coming up between the seasons. Uh, which reminds me, and I'll throw this out here publicly so people can remind us, I want to do a Christmas episode. I'm down. Okay. Like on Christmas, you mean? Oh, I mean, I I guess. I, I didn't think you'd be able to. I, I mean, I probably Christmas. won't. That's why I'm yeah, asking. Yeah, I, I meant a Christmas-themed episode where we go over oh, Christmas Power Ranger episodes. We'll, we'll talk more about the details, fine. but... Yeah. Anybody watching, if that sounds good to you, remind us so we don't forget. Also, I want to make yeah. a note. This is why we take so long to go through. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> off, All right. off camera, Gaz was like, hey, we got to stick to a half hour. I'm like, All right, that's a great plan. Well, we're 15, 14 minutes in now, so we're doing okay. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're doing okay. So the camera, of course, is recording, and oh my gosh, everyone's going to see them morph. Except we've established millions of times that they seem to morph in front of everybody. And a minute yeah, ago, it's... there were thousands of people here. That, yeah, granted, they ran away, but some of them are probably still in view. And people like Gazbot are going to turn and go, I really want to see what happens with yes, this monster. Yes, yes. And, and they're there always there hanging out with Steel, them. the robot. These four people that work for Grid Battle Force always hanging out with the robot. Whatever. It's It's... It's just weird that they make a point of it being a secret identity. Like, I'm fine. And this episode does a good job of explaining why they need a secret identity. Because we've asked that before. And they actually kind of address it in a way I like. I just wish yeah. they would treat it more like a secret identity every other episode. Matt Kendall Clare says, hey, I'm a bit late to chat, but I've been listening to you on Bedroom TV. Well, thank you, Matt Kendall Clare. We were starting Ooh. late. So, hey, you're not late. We're all late. We're all, we're all on time. Later. Hi, everyone. <laughs> uh, and so they're getting recorded. And we also see that Vargoyle has the Beast Morpher powers. I have the – oh, that's the Star Brand. I have the Jungle Fury, but he's got the, the Beast Morpher powers, and this is the first time he's got Unleashed on them, so they don't know what's coming. And this is sort of the culmination of episodes and episodes, so I, I was pretty excited that it was finally happening. And this was a good he, fight. I agree. He charges in with super speed first thing, which, again, he's not like, let me start fighting, and then unleash. he's just like, here we go. This is why I'm here. So he comes in with the super speed, knocks everybody over. Uh, Devin tries to, to fight back, but he's outmatched. 
And then Ravi even says, well, I've got strength, and he powers up, and they kind of go through one by one and prove why each of them is going to be ineffective. He knocks yep. the thing back that Ravi throws, and then Zoe, you know, to her credit, should know what's coming, but she's like, well, I'm going to jump, and she jumps, and he jumps higher and kicks her out of the air. It's very, like, it, you hate to see your heroes get kicked while they're, like, but it is very effective at showing, okay, not only does he have their powers, yeah. but it, they're either stronger or he's better at using them because he shuts them all down when they theoretically are equally powered. Every time this happens, I always think of the same two parts of seasons that were back to back. Turbo, when they fought the monster at the end of the season, that just wrecked them. Right. And when the Psycho Rangers are first introduced. Good point. Yeah. But it doesn't last that long, unfortunately, because as he's fighting them and he's winning, uh, well, oh, Devin smartly pulls out his cannon. Uh, I forget what this is called, the blaster. But. Again, to show how powerful – oh, I missed it, but he, he deflects it, which we've learned. Well, if you're powerful enough, you can deflect them, everybody else, and it hits the camera. And we're like, oh, I guess the camera's destroyed. They're safe. Th then Vargoyle says, oh, no, I'm running out of energy. i got to go back, which is you know, the only reason he doesn't destroy everybody right then. Yeah. Arguably, he could have stayed and kept fighting because he'd already weakened them. But yeah. he teleports out right as all five of them get ready to shoot, which you know, again is a good strategy. He knows – if he tries the battle <laughs> blasters, he'll lose every time. Yes. Uh, let's see. You Mac saw the camera, thought it was a blaster. They left it on the ground, booked it. Uh, Matt Kendall Claire says, Gold Goyle was one of my favorite monsters from Turbo. Is that the one you were talking about, Big Dog? I don't remember the Probably, name. Probably, yeah. Uh, the one that the ate the cruiser with the stuff, yeah. Uh, and then the real bad boost is guns always work, except that one time. Guns always work unless someone is powered up or, or something special. Like any regular minion, especially like like the uh, the the not the putties, you know what I'm saying? The putties, we'll call them putties. The putties, they could be multi shot with like a gun. They could take out five of them at once. And then the monster of the week only needs these one good shot unless they're supercharged in some way. Um, yeah. So meanwhile, Zoe's mom and her cameraman come out and see the camera, and he's like, "Oh man, this was recording. We can see who the you know the Rangers are, but it's been damaged." Pulls out the chip, which is the weirdest memory chip I've ever seen. But again, oh, it's just a prop yeah. that they want to use. Can you fix it? He's like, yeah, it'll take me, you know, five hours or whatever. Perfect. Just right exactly in time for the news. Sure. Why not? Uh, and then Zoe comes in. It's like, oh, boy, sorry about your thing. And she's like, don't worry. The Ranger's secret identities are coming up. And I think the actress uh, does a really good job of being like, <laughs> good. <laughs> like, keep <Yeah>, smiling. <laughs> Um, so we kind of cut off in that cliffhanger and back to Vargoyle. Uh, and I dig that Vargoyle isn't just a powerful dude. He's got a plan. Yeah. He's coming in. He's like, I All loved right. this part. Go ahead. You take it. Where uh, Vargoyle shows Evox, hey, I have this great plan. And Skrulls is kind of like, oh, it's a pretty good plan. And then Blaze and Roxy come in and go, wait, that was our plan that you stole. He's like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. This is a great plan, though. Hey, Evox, what about this plan? And then uh, – from there, they find out that Scrozzle is helping Vargoyle because right. he gave him the blueprints for the plan. And then we get, obviously, credits. And then we go back to Riptide Gym where we see Ben and Betty once again <laughs> with the just world's best selfie stick backpack uh, and the hijinks and suit. Yes. One thing I'll throw in, though, is when, they, when Evox gets confronted with the fact that the plan was stolen, in true supervillain form, he's like, well, good. He was smart enough to steal it. He's better than yeah. you. It wasn't like a yeah. hero would be like, that's not right. Or they're better. He was like, no, which is weird because it also shows that Blaze and Roxy, even though they're evil, they're still kind of, hints of good hints of nobility. or good. Yeah, because they're like, he stole it from us. That's wrong. And, and Evox is like, no, that's good. Good for him. He's better. But yeah, so like you said, we cut back to Ben and Betty here. And uh, oh, Matt Kendall Claire says, yes, that was Gold Goyle, the one who ate the Turbo R R A M. Uh, mm -hmm. But that's funny because uh, Vargoyle, Gold Goyle, they remind you of each other. So different. Ben is trying to fix this thing. I don't know why. I I can't I can't defend it. <laughs> the whole thing's the worst. I can't defend anything. Yeah. I'm literally building a better blaster to just <laughs> get him out. Um so these guys now are talking about the possibility of being outed. Steel doesn't seem concerned because hey, I'm built for fame. And that's true. That is true. Uh, if anybody Steel can handle it. MVP of these episodes. Yes. yes. Uh, one thing I'll yeah. say, too, going back to uh, – what was it? Red Fury? The, the one with the Fury self. Fury – Yeah. whatever that was. We're, we're Devin, Seeing Red? Seeing Red. Thank you. This is the episode that should have preceded that episode because we get Vargoyle super powered up. He's kicking everybody's butts. Maybe Devin uses the Fury cell, and he wins, and he's tempted. He uses it for good, and he has to. Then he's going to test for power, and it goes too far next episode. 
if you put these in the opposite order, it fixes a lot. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Um, so, oh, that was the other thing. Steele says, I'm built for fame. And then he said, I've been thinking about doing a cooking show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then Nate's like, you can't even eat. He's like, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Like, he wants to get upgraded to eat and do a cooking show. I love Steele. Uh, so Steel. anyway, oh. <laughs> but what I don't love is Ben and Betty fighting with this thing again. The same – why do they have to – okay. Well, they Honestly, use – I just want to move on from – I can't even talk about okay. it. Okay. He's trying it's to get it to work. so awful. And it hit – but this part is fine. In his yeah. hijinks, he pulls this obvious – and I remember seeing like that is like an obvious wig. But he pulls yeah. it off and, oh, man, we don't even know who Nikki Rev is. But we know this is her because she's like – and it's like movie star. You know, so <laughs> she's revealed when she was just trying to have her drink. And yeah. everybody mobs her. Oh, my gosh, the whole place. It's Nikki Rev. It's Nikki Rev. Even the Rangers at first are excited. But when they see she's being overwhelmed, they leap to her defense not to get an autograph. But they're like, whoa, and they pretend like her security. I like that. That goes back to civilian Rangers being yeah. proactive and just being good people, seeing that someone needs their help, even a big star. You have something to say here. Yeah, the one thing about that is uh... – I like how everybody in the martial arts class in their full uniforms is like, what? And then just <laughs> books it out. Everybody, in yeah. a line trying to go. I just thought – that part specifically I find funny, especially after the episode we had with Tommy Tuba. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess it, it, realistically no celebrity in the world would have every single person in a whole building be excited about them. But to make it work, you know, they had to have – Maybe yeah. there's some weird behind the scenes canon that we're unaware of where this is the most secluded little island. <laughs> this now is the first because, celebrity anyone has ever because, seen. Because, no, in the first episode, when the mayor's like, oh, Rita Repulsa destroyed Earth, they're like, great, can't destroy us. But we're in a dome city not named Corinth. And, uh, wow, you, know, you were going off, deep on the, uh, the fan craft. cut there. off from the world. And they're like, what? A person from the outside? It's not the same. Like, <laughs> one out of 10,000 people may, I may, see every day. Or maybe they're just really excited about the wig. We've never seen a wig. Where did you get and that they, wig? They get so bored that they invent all of these advanced scientific things, which is why their technology is so advanced. They have nothing to do. They're so bored. Right. They're like, let's make a bike that runs on more effects. Let's make a Zord that runs on more effects. Let's make a more effects volcano. And Ben and Betty are just not great at it. And that's why they have these inventions that don't always stick. To be clear, that... that You're welcome, Hasbro. That this selfie. is not canon, but I would love it <laughs> To be it clear, though, that selfie stick thing was not their invention. She bought it off the, the internet, so... No. I know your point stands. I just want to be clear on that. Uh, Matt Kendall Claire says actor that was Dave Muriel's Dave Muriel's cameraman was a voice actor. He did Negatron, the one that attacked them with the truth in Samurai. Trap saw the one in Ninja Steel with faulty traps, and he was also Slicertron. So thank you for that lovely mm. factoid, Matt Kendall Claire. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so the Rangers get her out, and we cut back to Evil Cyber Dimension Evil, and we see the monster of the week. Uh, I forget what his name is, Fuser, Tron, or something like that. Uh, something forgettable. Something, yeah, and so, but it's just Scrozzle and um, Vargoyle and him. Vargoyle. And they're basically like, okay, this is part two of our plan. They like, and again, Vargoyle has this whole thing going on. Even though he stole that part of the plan, he's got like parts two and three, which I dig. And they're yeah. just sort of scheming that up. Then we cut back to them helping uh, Nikki Rev into her car, and she's like, thanks. I wish I could return the favor. Don't worry about it. Foreshadowing. Uh, and then Steel is like, kind of out of nowhere, like, you know. I want a puppy. No, that's that's the next episode. No, I think it is the next episode. He that says something, episode. but I don't remember what it is. Oh, he he's talking about wanting the cookie show and being famous. He'd still be OK. And uh, oh, no, that's what was, they said. Maybe it wouldn't be good to be famous because it'd be hard to do our jobs. Look what happened to her. And Steele goes, yeah, I maybe I don't need a cookie show, even though I will be able to eat soon. And then Nate's like, I'm not going to make you able to eat. And he's like, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> You know, honestly, this is the dynamic between Steel and Nate oh, in no. this episode is you and I. I knew you were gonna say that. That makes it's a, I'm Steel. Yeah, always I, great. It always has great things to say. And Gaz is the frustrated naysayer who does all like, the hard work. Yeah! I'm the one who does all the hard work all and is responsible for you even him. existing. I'm here for the entertainment. Oh. It works. God, I guess I'm. I do like Nate's suit, so that's fine. And I like Steel because nobody has anything bad to say about him, so it's a win-win. Yeah, but people have bad things to say about you, so that's where the theory falls apart. Am I a shell of an evil mastermind that then turned good? Yes. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll just be the boy genius that created you and is also a power. That isn't allowed to go outside because you can't take. Not care anymore. Of now I know karate, well, and, and maybe maybe and me. Also, I might be dating Zoe, kind of, even though we haven't talked about that since we talked about it. But okay. Hey, uh, 
I, you, right. you know what? I'm going to leave it. It's canon. <laughs> uh, Matt uh, McClare, Shockatron, a name that was previously used in another season. Oh, that's the Monster League. Thank you. Uh, Steel is so hilarious and Defender's Point. Yes, he has a point, unfortunately. Ninja Steel. There's your Ninja Steel point. Fair enough. So we're, they're battling the Monster of the Week, and they uh, they realize that shooting him, which should work, again, because he has a specialty, he can absorb it and send it back. So that's not a good way to fight him. So then they're like, well, let's all... Oh, I'm sorry, I skipped that. So they all fire at him. He gathers it up and then fires it all back at them and wrecks them. Devin, in a great moment, instantly says, sabers only. Here's what I'll say. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I'm being sincere. No, no, no. I know. I just love the logic of stuff. Guns work every time. What happens if it, the gun doesn't work? Bring a knife to a gunfight. Let's yes. go! Ah! <laughs> but it's the right call. And here's what we're all saying. We've both been critical of Devin, and I, I still think his writing has been largely inconsistent. But what I will say is this. The one place he generally has been good and the reason he's the leader, he's a good field leader. He's yeah. not great at managing the personalities of the team necessarily and being like – but he's a good field leader. He's kind of like Cyclops mm -hmm. from the X-Men. He's not necessarily good at talking to people and, and all that stuff. But when it comes to making calls and moving the troops, that's what he's good at, and that's what Devin's good at. I have a very they both have red visors of him in the next episode. Okay. But we'll get there. All right. But you agree that he's a good field leader? Uh, I – Definitely see your point more in this episode, yes. Okay. So we cut from here. Steel and Nate, they, they called the Gigatron, so Steel and Nate go to attack him. Uh, and we get some cool angles, as usual. While that's mm -hmm. happening, another phase of the plan. Again, I really dig how complicated this plan was. So many plans. He's like, okay, they're dealing with the little guy. They're dealing with the big guy. I'm going to put this transmitter on the tower. And oh, uh, it's going to yeah. – we don't know what it's going to do, but it's that's part of the plan. So uh, Nate and Steel pretty much defeat the Gigatron pretty easily. And that's – oh, I'm sorry. Not yet. First, they also learned that the Gigatron could absorb and energy and shoot it back just the way the small one can. And yep. so then they get a call, and they're like, hey, could absorb and send back. I'm like, yeah, we know that. We're going to send Devin because you know, he has a sword. So once again, we're going to send a sword to a knife fight. We're going to use the blaster for the sword in the knife fight. They don't acknowledge that, but it, but it should be acknowledged. But So he shows up with the racer sword in, in battle mode. or Is it warrior mode or battle mode? I always forget. Sure. Okay, and he used the sword, and it is more effective. But then the two of them team up. Oh, we don't get there yet. But then the two of them team up for like a double assault. We cut back yeah. to this fight. And uh, I don't remember what the heck's happening here. Do you? They're they're losing for some reason, but I don't know why. Let me see the next one. Oh, I'm sorry. It confused me. They're not losing. I got confused because it looks like Ravi's in pain here. But he did this yeah. cool move, which I had a hard time capturing, where he comes oh, in. Oh, he launched him. Yeah, he launched and he comes in. He does like this slide with the saber, which is really pretty cool. But I I couldn't. You kind of see him finish here. Very anime, like. And then. Yeah. Pff, so that was that was very cool. They beat him with a saber. He yep. explodes. And then uh, that was just an interesting shot where they're like, we did it. Now back to, you're right. Devin using the cannon to use the sword. This was another awesome shot. Very, very anime, but the explosion kind of coming out the back. I thought it was really cool. Yeah. Uh, and he blows up. So both, as much as we talk about the guns winning, both of them were defeated with swords. But again, it was a plot point that guns won't work. So fine. Uh, real quick, Matt Kendall Claire, Steel is so hilarious. And defend, oh no. Uh, Matt Kendall Claire, battle mode. Thank you. So battle oh, mode, no. fighter mode, warrior mode. It's a mode. It's for battle. Oh, I have, a, I have a question for you, and this yeah. is deep and semi-off topic. Okay. So if this plot happened in Japanese Spider-Man, mm -hmm. where uh, it was reversed, where the sword wouldn't work on a villain because they were made out of something, what would Leo Pardon do? I'm not even sure if he has a projectile attack. Maybe I he... honestly am confused. I'm like, uh, punch him? I don't know. I was like... thinking punch, but if it could stop kinetic attacks... I, I feel like he must have an energy attack. I haven't watched it in a little while, so I'm blanking. But maybe he could launch the car. The the or, or yeah, Another I don't know. Way? Yeah, the, I don't know. The GP7. If you guys have a suggestion yeah. of what you think would happen, YouTube comments. Yeah, yeah, and and maybe there is. I feel like he has that mouth where like energy should shoot out of it, but I can't remember that ever like happening. Like lightning or something. Yeah. Um. But to be fair, I've watched most of the episodes of Spider Man, but there's a few towards the end that I haven't seen, so. Yeah, I don't know. That's a very good question. Ooh, all right, I've got it. Head cannon. It'll take 15 seconds. So it's an alloy that is very strong and won't work with kinetic attacks, but conducts electricity very well. He's got to lure him to a power plant, punch him or move him into the electricity, does it, fries it, cracks it. Problem, boom, here's the problem the with that. Hit. Leopardin is a one-hit killer. 
that is a much too complicated – it couldn't work. It would have to be like, oh – Reboot of it, it, it would have to literally be like he picks up a pole and smashes it. Like like whatever the other plan is, it's still got to be like one move. He kicks him off a cliff. Simplicity. Yeah, just a boulder on his head. Just, just one move. There's no co- – that's way too complicated for big robot smash. <laughs> it would be against the, the kind of the spirit of the Half show. Bro- Feel free to send the commission checks my way. I'm I'm full of ideas. All right, so I'm they, more than willing to be hired. They defeat the Gigatron, and I like that they had the. I didn't get a good shot of it. The jet kind of flies by in a victory lap, and and then they both land. And I thought it was cool that they kind of showed it differently once again. And this time they both watch it. Usually Nate and or Steel watches it, but Devin watched it too. He's like, oh, is this is a cool thing to do. Okay, I'll watch the explosion yeah. with you. So now we cut back to the A plot. I was gonna say the B plot, but this is kind of the A plot. I don't know, they're equal. Yeah. You know, I mean, usually this would be the B plot, but it definitely got equal time. It where felt like B plot. It but it got enough time that it well, whatever. It's 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 sub plot A. Sub <laughs> Fine, sub plot A. So Zoe's like, Oh, well, do do you really think you should show that? And maybe they don't want to know and, and then the producer comes in, he's like, Oh, this is gonna be great. Uh, but how are you gonna interview, you know, Nikki Rev as well as do this? And Zoe's like, I'll interview Nikki Rev and she's like, Well, she's my daughter, so that means she could be a reporter by proxy, fine, whatever. And hey, now all the nepotism who? Let's go. Fine. Yeah, you know what's funny though is I'm watching Dino Thunder and the Yellow Ranger in that is involved in a TV station. So I was like, well, this makes sense because she's been interning. I'm like, nope, that was like 10 seasons ago. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But uh, so she conducts the interview and Nikki's like, oh, I could pay you back the favor. I don't normally do interviews with non-professionals, but since you saved me earlier, you know, and she makes it all about how do you like fame? And she's like, well, I love my fans, but it's hard to blah, 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 blah. And again, if this was Levi, it would have been so much cooler. They wouldn't have even had to have the moment. They wouldn't have even had to have him bring his suit. He wouldn't have had to turn into a Power Ranger. He could have just yeah. been there as Levi. And maybe True. he gives like a little wink and a nod like he knows or something. And then he glows gold at the end. <laughs> something. Yeah. It just powers. I it, it, again. And, and again, those that like they know Ninja Steel is not my favorite season, but anytime you could bring continuity from the generations of the family. I think it's better for everyone, you know, like yeah. why not? So they have that. And now it's Zoe's mom's turn. And she kind of got the message and she's like, you know, I have proof, but if I told you they wouldn't be able to do their job. And so I'm just going to say thank you to them, even if it hurts my career. And she breaks this weird looking memory card, which, you know, is symbolic, but I'm sure the audience at home is like, what? Hey, look, another Drops hug. Ren- elbow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> We're ending with a lot of hugs these episodes, and that's fine. It's all goodness. And so Mom yeah. and Zoe have a goodness fine hug, and then the producer comes in, and she's like, hey, I'm sorry. He's like, that's not what I expected. It was better! People love it! And a, a reporter with integrity, yats cha cha, which, again, is a very positive Power Rangers episode. It makes sense. Sure. Uh, but we don't end on that. We go back to the evil world of evil, where uh, Vargoyle's like, yeah, the plan's progressing. I got all my pieces in place. Everything is working. Ha 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 ha. So even though it was a happy ending for Zoe and her mom, it, the, they lost. The, the villains got what they wanted. They they are succeeding in their plan, which we don't know what it is yet. And believe yeah. it or not, at 34 minutes, that's the end of the episode. I know we're doing pretty good today. <laughs> we're a little bit behind, a little bit behind. Um, um, it, is there any quick news you want to throw out at the end of this episode before we go into the next um, one? I know I mentioned it last week, but Toys That Made Us, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, please watch. Yes. Very insightful. It does bring up Spider-Man, yes. like uh, I brought up earlier. It wasn't on purpose is actually just coincidental, but that's really good. And I've then, watched uh, Power Rangers twice, and I've watched Turtles as well now. I haven't finished Turtles, but Power Rangers are really good. Yeah, uh, Power, uh, but Power that, Rangers I enjoy. Turtles because I'm an artist, and I've I, I know I, I felt it. Like like I'm like oh I can identify so much with so like even with like yeah. the friends drifting apart and things like that. Like I had comic friends, and like it's like uh, not that I'm famous like them, but I could really relate to a lot of what yeah, was going on in yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So what would be your initial uh, rating of of what you cut out? Of, you are cutting of, out. I can't the hear you. Episode we oh boy, just he's watched. cutting out. Let me check what? chat while he pulls himself together. Uh, Matt Kendall Clear says also Shockatron was voiced by the same actor who did the voice of Fury in Giant Charge. That's awesome. Thank you. I love. Can you hear I, I love me your, now? Yes. Uh, yes, I can. Big oh, okay. I love the the facts. So keep throwing them out there. Thank you, Matt. Uh, and I also love that they like that's what I'm saying. They reuse voice actors all the time, and they use yeah. reuse suit actors. Why not bring you know ranger actors back? And again, they don't have to be the hero or a ranger. They just live in that world. Anyway, uh, yeah. Matt initial Clear, review. Yeah. Of this episode, what would you give it? Like, what would bef- be your rating? Well, you're saying initial, but we're at the end of it. You're just saying overall. Um, 
Yeah. I'm going to say a B minus, but if it had Levi, it would be a B plus. And he froze. Vargoyle attacking. Say, I'm going to say C plus okay. overall. And you have no caveat of like, if they did something different, you'd like it better. No, like the fight with Vargoyle was cool. I hated the Ben and Betty stuff this episode. It was not good. Um, it was not the B plot with the celebrity. I really didn't care for it was whatever. And the setup with Vargoyle's plan was cool. And let's jump into episode 19 what? in no. the next episode. So I can talk about why. Okay. Uh, before that'll be next episode. Um, one thing yeah. I forgot in the beginning of this episode, we had a shout out from uh, William. Oh, I'm gonna miss up his name. Shufelt, who is Ninja Steel Red, who I did an interview with at Ranger Stop. That is up on the YouTube channel. You can check it out now if you like. Uh, it was a nice long interview. I really enjoyed interviewing him. Uh, and it's one of those things where, you know, I uh, sometimes the the people the characters the people play may not be the most popular or may have you know shortcomings. And then the real life actor. Like when I met him, you know, he he wasn't my favorite Red Ranger. That's that's not a secret. But I always say it has nothing to do with the yeah. person or the actor. Uh, very nice guy, intelligent guy, in great shape. Very passionate about Power Rangers and talks about how he wants it to be better and stuff. And once again, I feel like it's the script or it's the producer, or it's somebody making decisions. I said similar things about um uh, the actor that plays Troy. I forget his name. Mm -hmm. Who yeah, whatever you just said. Um, Andrew Gray. Andrew Gray, thank you. Yes, I haven't met him in real life. When I see him in interviews, I'm like, this guy has a lot of charisma and sense of humor, and it, yeah. it, it, that's another reason why I want to see actors come back because they'll get a chance, maybe under different circumstances, to shine and make those characters, you know, come forth a little bit more. I don't know. It, it's just it's worth. I always like to point that out because I, I hate when fandoms will forget that there are people behind here. You know, whatever you think of Ninja Steel. He's a really good guy. He gave me his time. It's worthwhile watching that interview, even though I disagree with his opinions about Star Wars. I uh, <laughs> I still liked it. <laughs> All right, so we'll call this the end of this episode. I will say thank you for watching live on Twitch. Thank you for watching later on YouTube. Thank you for commenting, posting, liking, sharing, all of those good things. You can check us out on the Facebook group. You can check it out on the Gazbot YouTube channel. I have my art for sale on Gazbot Etsy. But for now, we are done. We will see you next week. I have been Gazbot. I have been and continue to be the big dog. And while he is frozen, it is still to the power. To the power. To the power. See. End credits. <laughs>